The 40-second problem of this first ACT practice test focuses specifically on composite functions. Given f of x is equal to x minus 1 divided by x, and g of x is equal to 1 divided by x, then what is f of g of 1 half? So anytime you see notation like this, or basically when you see one function being put inside of another function, then you know that you're dealing with composite functions. So let me write that down. So let's look at a simple example before we move on to the specific problem. Let's say that h of x is equal to 2x and k of x is equal to the square root of 3x. So a composite function is essentially a function put inside of another function. So let's say we want to find k of h of 3. So you'll start in the innermost part of your composite function. So this h of 3, we need to figure that out first. So we'll just plug x is equal to 3 into our function h here and 2 times 3 now would just be 6. And then you can take this value for h of 3, which we know is 6, and replace it here. So now we have k of 6, since we just replaced the h of 3 by 6. And now we'll plug this 6 in for x inside this function k of x. In doing that, we have the square root of 3 times 6, which is 18. And if you wanted, you could simplify this because this is 9 times 2, and 9 has a whole number square root. So this would simplify to 3 times the square root of 2. And now that we've seen an example, let's apply this idea to our particular problem. And we need to find f of g of 1 half. So like in our example, we'll first start with the innermost part, this g of 1 half. So let's figure out what that would be. We're essentially plugging in 1 half anywhere we see an x inside this function. So it would be 1 divided by x, but x we're replacing with 1 half. And 1 divided by 1 half is the same thing as 1 times 2 over 1. When dividing by a fraction, you just flip the fraction you're dividing by and change it to multiplication. So the end result of g of 1 half is that it's equal to 2. And now we can go back up to this expression that we started with and replace this g of 1 half with the value 2. So let's work down here now. So we have f of g of 1 half but we know that's 2, so now we just want to find f of 2. So we go to our function f of x, and anywhere we see an x, we replace it with the value 2. So we'll have 2 minus 1 over x, but x is 2, so it's minus 1 half. And 2 minus a half, we could give them all the same denominator, so we have that 4 halves minus 1 half, and this simplifies to 3 halves. So the end result of our composite function evaluated at 1 half is that f of g of 1 half is equal to 3 halves. And that is our final answer.